guys! So, nandito ako ngayon sa Redstone Castle. Ayan, ang ganda ng paligid guys kasi autumn na dito sa Slovakia ngayon. Alam niyo ba guys, autumn is one of my favorite season of the year. Uh, Napaka-magical nung paligid kapag ka-autumn. Ayan, ito nga pala guys yung side nung castle. And then, ito naman yung pinaka-main entrance niya. Tara guys, tignan natin yung loob ng castle. Ayan. This castle nga pala guys is made of a uh, copper stone. And then because of the uh, large amount of copper, uh, it it produce a reddish color kaya tinawag siya na red stone castle or in slovak language it is a cherveni kamen <laughs> Ito nga pala guys yung uh, uh, offer nila sa mga tourist. Meron dyan yung parang mga, ayan may nagsasayaw, may mga opera. And ito naman yung prices niya. May, meron, uh, yung admission niya. Meron din yan um, isang oras na tour guide. Meron dalawang oras. So papasok kami sa loob guys para makita namin. Nagbayad kami ng 6 euro per head at mayroon din bayad yung magte-take ng picture. So, 2 euro per person. Isa lang yung binayada namin. So, siya lang yung uh, magte-take ng picture. And mayroon din silang binigay na ganito guys, reading materials. Kasi uh, Slovak language yung kanilang tour. Mer uh, sometimes magi english din siguro. And then meron kaming uh, copy yung uh, reading materials about doon sa sinasabi niya sa loob. So tara, uh, samahan nyo kami na mag-tour sa loob ng castle. <music> Ito na guys, yung lower hall nila. Uh, it is decorated with the hunting trophies and painting with the hunting scenes. And most of the animals were killed by the falfies themselves as they were uh, fashionate hunters guys. Ito is yung ano, yung palfi. Is e yung may-ari ng castle before. This room nga pala guys is called the Sala Terana. Uh, it is mostly used uh, during the summer season kasi connected ito sa garden sa likod. And now pupunta na tayo sa upper hall ng castle guys. Ito yung staircase nila. Uh, I think it's original pa yung mga steps nito. And then sa gilid makikita natin yung mga paintings dyan. Uh, it is made by an Italian master, Giovanni Battista, in 1720-1778. Uh, Ito naman guys, yung empire-style bedroom nila. And the most of the furniture here was made in uh, St. Petersburg. St. Petersburg in Russia. The second room, makikita naman natin dito yung mga weapon na ginamit during the war. Uh, most of them is a Turkish weapon during the Turkish. 
Uh, this room nga pala guys is also used as a hospital room during the Black Death pandemic. And kung makikita nyo, yung lahat ng furniture dito is um, made in 19th century. Ayan guys, yung pa yung original na gamit nila noon dito. And ganyan lang yung toilet nila noong araw guys. This next bedroom guys is also called as the fancy bedroom. Uh, all the furniture here uh, was made in the late 7th century. And guys, ang ganda ng bed. And ito nga pala guys, yung pinakamalaking uh, room dito sa castle. Ito yung tinatawag nila na Knight's Hall. Ayan. And originally, uh, this room is used for uh, religious purposes. Kasi so, connected siya sa chapel. Ito guys, yung chapel nila dito sa loob ng castle. Ang ganda ng ceiling. And ayan. According dun sa tour guide, itong floor na ito is uh, ito pa yung original na sahig nila dito. So, it's from 17th to 18th century guys. Ganun na siya katagal. Anong kaso mo sis? Please subscribe. 
At uh, dito na nagtatapos yung aming tour sa loob ng castle guys. Kasi 60 minutes lang yung kinuha namin. Yung binayaran namin. Kaya pinababa na kami. Pero may continuation sila doon sa taas pa. Nung 2 hours na ano na tour guide ng castle. Thank you for watching guys. So abangan nyo ulit kung saan yung susunod na lakwatcha natin. Bye! Don't forget to like and subscribe. See ya!